All right, YouTube, how are you today? Today we are gonna talk about why you must ventilate your soundproof studio. So if you're interested in building a soundproof studio in your house or in your backyard like I did, this video is for you. All right, let's jump in. So the biggest mistake I made when building my home studio in my backyard was I did not properly ventilate it. And this is haunting me to this day. I'm actually planning on putting a hole in my freaking beautiful wall and putting in a ventilation system so that I can get fresh air into my room. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why it's critical that you think about this in your design phase, why you probably don't wanna do what I'm doing and having to do it after the fact, and some reasons what has happened in my studio and why I'm investing more money and time into actually putting in a ventilation system. So let's go backwards a little bit here and think through why I didn't put in a ventilation system in the first place. So I got some really bad advice from somebody I trusted, which was that since my studio is outside and there's a door directly opening to the outside, that I would get plenty of fresh air when every time I open the door. There is some sliver of truth to this. So if we think about some basic physics here, if the temperature in your studio and the outside are drastically different, either too hot, too cold, outside versus in the studio, there will be air transfer due to the law of physics that hot will move to cold and cold or hot outside will move to cold inside your studio, thus bringing in new fresh air, thus exchanging oxygen and CO2 levels in your studio. However, for many months of the year here in Nashville where I built this, those two temperatures are drastic, are really close to being exactly the same. Therefore, without a fan, there is literally no air transfer in my studio. And one of the worst things I've noticed with this is actually not the lack of oxygen. Um, yes, there is a buildup of CO2, which I'll talk about in a moment here, but mainly it's been the smells. The smells that people leave in the studio after I've worked with them for like eight hours, it's kind of gnarly. And that is probably the number one reason that I want to get ventilation in the studio. I mean, not to be, you know, childish here, but if you fart in the studio, it's not going anywhere. So think about that for a second. The biggest thing that uh, we're going to talk about here too is CO2. So CO2 levels uh, are the main worry you have in terms of your health benefits with being in a soundproof studio. So remember, soundproofing a studio means it is entirely airtight. If you do it properly, there is little to no air coming outside of your studio at all. So we've sealed up everything in this room that I am currently in, and when you're in here, there is not airflow from the outside to the inside. A very big misconception that I think many of you may have is like, well, wait, what about a mini split or my HVAC system? Isn't that bringing fresh air into my studio? And the answer is no. And I was surprised to figure that out myself. The reason is that an HVAC system is essentially a self-contained unit. It's bringing in air that's in your house, cooling it down, and then running it through the condenser outside and sending it all back in. That's my rudimentary idea of how HVAC system works. I know I oversimplified that. But the basic understanding is that no, there is not a fresh air unit handler bringing in fresh air from the outside and sending it into your house, as much as it seems like that with all these massive ductworks in your home. So that said, we must think about ventilation separately. And I'm gonna have probably a whole another video on exactly how to install ventilation. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm about to go through in a couple months here when I install my own ventilation system. So I'll take you through that process. But just right now, the main thing I want you to know is that you must put in ventilation. Don't even question it. Don't even do the stupid thing that I did, which is like, I don't need ventilation. I'll just have a door that will open to the outside and suddenly I'll have this whoosh of fresh air that'll come in. That's just not true, it's not scientific, uh, and it was a big mistake. So I'm here to tell you, don't do what I did. We'll talk about this in another video some other time, but for now, I just want you to know that putting ventilation in is a must, so do some research on it. I'll have a video out here in the future on exactly how to put in your ventilation system and size your duct work and all the math behind it. It's just a lot for this one video. So if you like these videos on soundproofing, please let me know in the comments. I wanna know what it is you wanna learn about 
every single week I'm putting out a new video on Tuesday. I've got some courses. I have a free course in the description below on how to soundproof. I've got a much bigger course coming soon. So if you want to be a part of this incredible community we have, then definitely check out that free soundproofing course. Um, and I'd love to help you on your journey of creating the ultimate amazing home studio um, that we all want these days because home recording is where it's at. So why not make a professional studio in your house or backyard? All right, until next week, I will see you all later. Peace. Thank you.